Realtor fees when he's selling for $1.3 million, $32,000. I think on this particular property, you can get a better deal than a million dollars. I think you should work with the estimate that it's a little bit lower to protect yourself. Also to protect the lender. If I'm going to choose to be your lender, then I need to be protected and you are my protection. Showing her the numbers, I bought her trust. I'm not going to go with anybody else because everybody else, they're going to want the commission. You defend her money, her finances. She needs to hear it from a guy like you that she's supposed to trust. We want you to be protected so you're gonna make money you're gonna be happy you're gonna come back to us work with us again i want to be the guy that helped you make money Press it up. <laughs>
So you know the numbers, but it's okay that they rejected it. They have no choice because right now they're not selling and they're stuck on the market for a long time. They need someone with cash and there's not a lot of people that getting into the game right now because right now the market is very risky. Unless you know the area and the location, it seemed to me as a realtor, you should know the area very, very well. So I think you should stick to the 950 and just let them dive into it and think about it. Eventually they're going to have to accept it. By you going higher, you put yourself in a, at risk. Yeah. That's true. We want you to be protected. So you're going to make money. You're going to be happy. You're going to come back to us, work with us again. Like that, you're going to lose money. You're going to be really upset and you're going to blame everyone, including the lender. And I don't want to be at fault. I want to be the guy that helped you make money. Yeah, I know. If I can make money, I'm going to work with you in the future. <laughs> of course. You can make more money. Here's the deal. I, I believe that the best solution here is to come back to them with a counter offer of 950, take it or leave it. And if they even if they're going to reject it let them sit on it for two weeks and then revisit it in two weeks from now they're not gonna sell the property I'm telling you they're not gonna sell the property okay uh, I'm gonna wait for some time let's keep in touch with you Greg just you know keep in touch with her make sure that we're on top of things and we're gonna help you to close this deal if not this one the next one but we're gonna make sure you're gonna make money okay thank you so much perfect Ella thank you so much bye bye did you see what I did here you guys see what I did here? I controlled the, the conversation from the very beginning. When you were talking to her in the very beginning, and I want you to watch this video, the very beginning you're a very official, not relaxed. She sounded to me with her voice instantly. Like I just heard her voice, instantly I understand she's in a very relaxed mode. Mm -hmm. What did I do? I was laughing. I was like, relax, okay, I'm, I'm making everything relaxed right now. And from here you take it over by her voice, by her actions, by what she says. You gotta listen to them. Mm -hmm. You gotta hear what they want. If it was somebody else that is very stressed out and very business, you know, I would talk completely different. You gotta control the whole conversation. You gotta control her. By me showing her the numbers, those numbers, I bought her trust to be with me. She's gonna be with me. She's not gonna go with anybody else because everybody else, they're gonna want the commission. They're gonna want here the $32,000 points. I already sold her three points because she knows it's $32,000. She's ready. I control every piece of information here I, I controlled everything the challenge for you as a salesperson not just in hard money anything you do in life is to control your clients put them in check we are like the doctors for hard money and the borrowers they're like the patients they come with a headache they come with some kind of like they, they need medicine they need us to tell them what to do we don't need them to tell us what to do she's here to hear those words that nobody else want to share with her. And when I share it with her, she's like, oh wow, this is real. We might save her a lot of money. That's in a perfect world, she's making 60K. But she's not making 60K. She's gonna lose money on this deal. Exactly. Because the market is not going for her favor. She needs to hear it from a guy like you, that she's supposed to trust. You defend her money, her finances. That was the conversation I had with her at the beginning, but she wasn't, like you said, you know, yeah. trusting the fact that I was giving her good numbers that, hey, this is a risky deal for you. I want us to be on a good relationship, not you blaming us for losing money. Guys, this video is extremely, extremely valuable for you because i started this video talking about how to control your clients we nailed two birds in one shot right now because here you need to learn more than just how to control your clients is how to calculate the right numbers in order to make money in flipping properties because most people that flip real estate they don't make money i'm a hard money lender and i deal with people like that all day long that eventually come to me and they tell me yanni i didn't make any money on this deal i've been here six months and i'm like sitting like that i'm like i made twenty thirty thousand dollars this guy worked for six months on the property and made not even a penny, zero. So you need to calculate the numbers right. Thank you so much for watching, of course. But don't forget, ever, rise it up. Yeah. <laughs> we got to rise it up. Rise it up.